My name is Sophia Sheikh. I am at the UC Berkeley Department of Astronomy, and my research is uh, looking for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. And something that I wanted to get some uh, collaborative ideas on is learning to classify objects, patterns, and signals as technological, biotic, or abiotic. And I'll quickly mention that biotic versus abiotic, like what is life and what is not life, is a whole nother debate that I am actually not too interested in. I'm more interested in identifying technological things among non-technological things. So as an example, I'm just going to quickly flip through some images. And in your head, just try and think uh, whether you think this is biotic, abiotic, or technological. And then I'm only going to spend a couple seconds on each one. This one is biological. Uh, this is also <laughs> biological. This one is somewhat cheating. Uh, it is both biological and technological. And so this is one of the other issues in trying to perform this work. Uh, and I also will be happy to explain what these things are in my session later. This is biological. This one might be easier to identify as biological. Uh, this is technological. And uh, to kind of wrap up this exercise, this is abiotic. So no, not uh, influenced or um, facilitated by life. So that was a lot, of, a lot of images in quick succession. But now I just want you to quickly reflect. You were applying some sort of mental filters to make those determinations before I was showing the answer, hopefully. And what I'm interested in is how we can formalize that. What sorts of clues were you getting from just visual information uh, that we might be able to use to make these determinations in astronomical data or uh, in situ planetary science data eventually? Um, so I'm interested in ways to differentiate between individual natural and artificial objects. And this is just my brainstorm so far consistency of features in an object, uh, <coughs> entropy, maybe uh, mathematical, like kind of intentional structures like regular polygons or right angles. Uh, things that are very efficient tend to be technological. Maybe if we find an object that requires a tool to make it, that requires a tool to make that, uh, the more cycles of that you have, that could be ind indicative of technology. Uh, sticking multiple materials together, perhaps. Um, and then variances within materials, how pure is a substance that something's made out of. Uh, and if we're lucky enough to have an ensemble of objects, then you can compare uh, individual instances within the ensemble. So for example, um, how consistent are the objects or signals in the set? And do you have multiple examples of possibly technological signals all coming from the same place? Uh, so this is my brainstorm so far. I'm interested in more examples of these edge cases that are hard to identify and trying to figure out why they're hard to identify. And I wanna know how to quantify these things so that if we find a strange signal, a strange pattern in the sky, a strange object on Mars, uh, we'll be able to have some way to quantify how likely it is that that object was created by technology. Uh, so um, this is mostly a pitch for my session later. I'm looking for input from anthropologists, uh, paleontologists, anyone who kind of works with trying to identify uh, technology or biology on Earth. Um, of course, biologists, that is not my realm. Uh, and computer scientists, people who work with AI, artists, anyone else who wants to contribute ideas, feel free to stop by at my 5 p.m. Pacific, 1 a.m. Uh, uh, England time session tonight. Uh, so I think that's yellow room. And I look forward to continuing that conversation with all of you. Thank you.